I'm Louis Brun, CEO of Solum Technology. Solum offers Greenhouse Grower the only smart LED solutions that enables to recreate, perfect, and modulate the sun's natural light. It helps them improve the productivity of their greenhouse, also the quality of the produce in an energy efficient environment. We work closely with the growers and research centers to find the ultimate sun recipes that will help them grow food locally to address food sustainability. And all that works with our sun as a service platform supported by AR algorithm providing all the functionalities for management, monitoring, and providing the unparalleled benefits of the sun natural light. By the end of 2020, uh, we, we had deployed the largest smart LED uh, system in a greenhouse that exists. 2021 was very important because the big success was, uh, we, I had to make sure like we, I structured the company uh, and the organization so that we can keep the momentum going. So. Despite the pandemic, we doubled the size of the team, uh, hired a lot of uh, key executives, uh, and, and now we're getting ready to truly like, keep the momentum growing and move to the market as uh, we feel now it's time for mass adoption. And also, uh, it's going to be a key moment for us to further increase our collaboration with university and research centers to enable them with our technology to uh, revolutionize the horticultural lighting. Being part of C100 has been also instrumental. The 48 hour has been very exciting. The, the feeling to be part of a unique group, uh, cohort of uh, great entrepreneurs uh, and uh, the format of the event. But probably my biggest highlight of the of the year was, uh, was the circles. The opportunity to be put together with uh, all these uh, other very uh, successful Canadian technology entrepreneurs uh, from that are all around the world. Uh, the conversation we had in the, in these circles, building more personalized uh, connection and and relationship uh, with people that have done like fantastic things, uh, especially in the valley. So uh, I would say that's uh, that's probably one of my uh, cherished moments.